Greetings everyone, this is Curtis Duncan and I want to do a video today on why wheat causes fibroid tumors. I know a lot of people out here, you know, struggle with fibroids and it's a common health inquiry that I get. And fibroids is definitely increasing and it's definitely caused uh, by certain hormones, particularly estrogen and insulin. Primarily estrogen. Uh, estrogen being the female sex hormone, which in excess amounts does stimulate the growth of fibroid tumors. That's one of the reasons why you have such an explosion in fibroid tumors these days, because there are close to almost 300 estrogenic chemicals out here that are just everywhere in the environment. There's really no way a woman can avoid being exposed to these chemicals. Uh, and women, women are being exposed to these chemicals from the time they are conceived to the time they die. And these chemicals uh, do stimulate fibroid tumors. But not only that, Insulin, insulin being the hormone that your body produces in response to, in response to blood sugar, or you consuming any type of food which is a carbohydrate, uh, which raises your blood sugar. Insulin uh, puts that blood sugar into your cells, where it's used as energy. The problem is, is that women today are consuming lots of carbohydrates. You know, they're following government rec recommendations. Government told uh, women and men uh, to consume low-fat, high-carb diets. Women have done that, and their rates of heart disease, high blood pressure, obesity, and fibroids have skyrocketed. And the reason why is because insulin, not only does it cause you to gain weight and turns your body and tells your body to go into fat storage mode, but also tells your body to produce tumors. Uh, this is the reason why they say that sugar feeds cancer. It's not that particularly that sugar feeds cancer, even though fructose does uh, play this role. Um, fructose itself does, in fact, feed pancreatic cancer, but it's the insulin, uh, which is found, which are found on all cancerous cells, uh, the insulin receptors. And when your and when your body is producing excess amounts of insulin, then you are going to develop fibroid tumors. And wheat, which is the primary grain that people consume here today, is really the equivalent. Even if you're eating whole wheat, is really the equivalent of eating almost a candy bar. And this has been well noted in the book Wheat Belly, which talks about how significantly wheat raises your blood sugar. And wheat is also addictive, too. So, for example, for a lot of you women out there, you know, you, you know, having your typical, uh, typical breakfast, which is might be a bagel and some orange juice, you are going to greatly increase your risk of developing fibroid tumors by consuming that bagel and orange juice because you are dramatically raising up your blood sugar which dramatically raises up your insulin levels and insulin stimulates the growth of fibroid tumors uh, and it causes them to grow uh, and actually feeds fibroid tumors and I'll post a link down below with some more information on this and this is one of the reasons why so many women even vegetarian women who don't consume meat don't consume dairy develop fibroid tumors because particularly vegetarian women have diets which are really really high in carbohydrates and when you're consuming high carb and when you're consuming diets that are high in carbohydrates you are dramatically going to re increase your risk of developing fibroid tumors and one of the carbohydrates that dramatically increases blood sugar even whole wheat flour uh, which is found mostly in bread is uh, wheat it actually raises your blood sugar more than consuming a candy bar uh, dramatically uh, raises your blood sugar. It's very high on the glycemic index, which basically uh, basically illustrates how high a food will raise your blood sugar within a certain time frame. So I definitely recommend uh, for all you women out there who are looking to cure fibroids, you definitely want to cut out uh, uh, wheat and greatly, greatly reduce your greatly, greatly reduce your consumption of uh, foods which raise your in, raise your insulin levels, which are going to be carbohydrates primarily. Or uh, you have other foods which do that too. So you definitely want to cut that out. You also want to uh, lower your estrogen levels too. And this is something I discuss in my uh, awesome recording, uh, Live Fibroid Free, uh, The Secrets to Preventing and Curing Fibroid Tumors. Uh, so, you know, for any woman out there who's looking to cure fibroids, prevent them, you definitely want to get that recording. It's based upon my close to three to four years of scientific research, and it is the world's best information out there because um, I only deal with uh, the best. Uh, so you definitely want to, uh, you know, check out that recording and also include a free gift in there uh, when you uh, purchase the recording. So I have a nice little package there for you. Um, and it's close to about two hours worth of, of great information that will help you shrink fibroid tumors. But definitely wheat, wheat is linked to fibroids due to the fact that it dramatically raises your insulin levels 
more than other other types of carbohydrates out there uh, and it is highly addictive so when you consume wheat once you're going to want to consume it again and again and again because wheat actually stimulates the opioid receptors it's kind of like a heroin and that's why people like donuts so much they they like uh, bagels so much and muffins you know cause the combination of the sugar which is a form of cocaine and the wheat turns it into a really 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 potent drug uh, so definitely definitely uh, want to avoid uh, consuming wheat if you are going to if you are trying uh, to cure and shrink your fibroid tumors in order to uh, rate in order to lower your insulin levels so uh, thank you for watching this video definitely check me out on Facebook I'll post a link uh, for my Facebook page down below uh, also buy my recording it's a uh, great information in there to help you shrink your fibroid tumors in less than about three months uh, and also include some natural remedies and I address the nutritional hormonal uh, and uh, emotional reasons uh, for developing fibroid tumors because there are other foods which cause fibroids too. Again, I mean, you're dealing with insulin and you're also dealing with estrogen and lots of women are being exposed to estrogen on a daily basis. So that's why I created the recording to kind of give women information that they need uh, so they can uh, be healthier and uh, shrink those uh, fibroids. So thank you again for watching this video. Please share it with others. Uh, and I'll post some information down below on the dangers of wheat, a uh, book that you can check out, and also how a high blood sugar causes fibro tumors. Thank you again and enjoy your day.